Uh, welcome to watch the video of uh, subnetting plan uh, for IT company. Network address is provided. So for that, uh, how we are going to plan for the subnet masking? Okay, here uh, we are provided with the network address of 172.16.0.0 slash 20. Okay, so we have to allocate subnets for the following departments for IT 900, HR 400, finance 200, and for sales it is 50. Okay, the full question has been given in the video description link okay so now uh, step by step we can see the process okay so whenever the network address is 172.16.0.0 slash 20 means first we have to identify the class the which class that ip address belong okay so it is 172 so it comes under the category of class b okay so because 128 to 191 all address that comes under this class b then the subnet masking Okay, so how we are identifying this subnet masking? Okay, totally it has been divided into 32 bits. The IP address that has been divided into 32 bits of 4 octets. Okay, 4 octets. 8, 8, 8 and 8. Okay, here slash 20 means first 20 are 1s. Okay, remaining 12 are zeros. Okay, so the first 8 has been converted into 255. Okay, the second 8 has been converted into 255. Okay. So, in the next 8, only the first 2 are 1s. Remaining 6 are zeros. Okay. So, that binary has been converted to decimal as 240. Okay. Then the final all are zeros. So, it is kept as 0. So, this is how the subnet masking address is identified. Slash 20 means we have to put a consecutive of 20 ones. So, among the 32 bits, the first 20 are once okay so we make them into 8 8 8 and 8 okay. total number of ip address ips in this slash 20 okay so it should be defined by 2 to the power of 32 minus this 20 okay so it becomes 2 to the power of 12 so what is 2 to the power of 12 4096 okay so how this 32 number has been find this it is full of 32 bits okay so that's why we are taking 2 to the power of 32 minus 20 okay so that is equal to 2 to the power of 12 okay now come with the usable host so among this 4096 how many can be used okay so we should left out two one is for network address and another one is for broadcast address we left out two so the remaining are the usable host so this 4094 are usable host now we have to plan the Require subnet mask for all the departments. Okay. Now we have to uh, make a table. So in this table, the department, then the required host that is given in the problem, then the minimum host bit, then the subnet masking, then total number of IPs and then usable host. Okay. So you have to draw the table and find out. So we know what are all the departments and what are all the required host. Okay. Now from this, we have to identify the minimum host bit. It is denoted by H. Okay. So, we know the formula 2 to the power of H minus 2 greater than or equal to required host. Okay. So, consider this IT. So, for this IT, so 2 to the power of H minus 2 greater than or equal to that is equal to 900. Okay. So, here the required host is 900 2 to the power of H minus 2. So, we need to identify this H. Okay. So, what value we should submit for this to satisfy this condition? Okay. So, to satisfy this condition, we should put 2 to the power of 10. Then only it will satisfy the condition. Okay. So, here the minimum number of host bit required is 10. Okay. So, 10 that is 2 to the power of 10. That is 1024 IPs are required. Okay. Then for HR department, the same case. So, instead of 900, we should put 400. And uh, what is the condition to be satisfied is 9. Okay. So, the same formula we should submit. Then 2 to the power of 9 minus 2 greater than or equal to 400. So, this is the condition that we got for this HR. Then for finance, we require host of 200. Okay. So, for the condition, we need 2 to the power of 8 minus 2. Okay. So, that's why 8. Okay. Then for sales, 50 are uh, required host. So, 6 has been required. Okay. So, 2 to the power of 6 is 64 IPs. Here, 2 to the power of 8 is 256 IP. 2 to the power of 9 is 512 IPs. So, this is how the number of IPs has been identified. Okay. 
So based on this formula of 2 to the power of h minus 2 greater than or equal to required host, this column has been identified. Whether it satisfies the condition means we should mention that host bit. Then subnet masking. So how subnet masking is identified? Okay. First we know the total bits are 32. So here the minimum host bit we, we represent as 10. So 32 minus 10. Okay. 32. So 32 minus 10. That is equal to 22. That's what we have mentioned here. And here 32 minus 9. That is slash 23. Okay. 32 minus 9. That is 23. That's what mentioned here. Then 32 minus 8 slash 24. 32 minus 6 slash 26. So how from this the subnet masking is identified. So slash 22 means consecutive 22 ones has been mentioned among the 32 bits. The remaining 10 are zeros. Okay. So that convert them into a decimal number we are getting 255.255.252.0. Similarly for all the subnet masking we, we follow the same procedure. Then the total number of IPs. Okay. It is found by this minimum host bits. So 2 to the power of 10 that is 1024. 2 to the power of 9 that is 512, then 2 to the power of 8, that is 256, then 2 to the power of 6, that is 64. So, this total IPs has been fined by the minimum host. Okay. So, the host can be fined using this formula. Then finally, the usable host. So, usable host is minus 2 of this total IPs. Okay. So, 24 minus 2, 1024 minus 2, 512 minus 2, 256 minus 2 and 64 minus Okay. So, this is how we determine the required subnet masking. Okay. Then comes the third step. So, we need to assign the subnet and calculate the network address and the broadcast address. Okay. First, for the IT department, we know 900 are the required host. Okay. So, for them, we have to assign the subnet and the network address and broadcast address. So, we know the network address is 172.16.0.0. Okay. So, for this, we find the subnet masking already as slash 22. Okay. The slash 22 has been found by this and then we need to find out the remaining. So, the network address. So, this is the start of the network address. So, 172.16.0.0. Okay. Then, then comes the important part, the broadcast address. Normally, how we find the broadcast address by using the network address plus block size minus 1. So, this is how we identify the broadcast address. So, here the network address we find as 172.16.0.0 plus. So, what is the block size? So, 1024 minus 1. So, the block size has been found by the total IPs. Okay. So, now what we are getting 172.16.0.0 plus 1023. Okay. Now, we have to convert this 1023 into a binary number. Okay. When we are converting means what we are getting. So, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay. When we convert this into a binary number, we will get an answer like this. Okay. Now, we have to compare. Okay. We have to make sure for this 8 bits. Okay. Put a dot and for this we have to put 6 zeros for this. Now, okay. This can be converted into 3 dot. All these ones are 255. Okay. So, 3 and this is 255. Now, we need to add this to this IP address. Now, so what it will become 172.16 dot 3 dot 255. Okay. As we are going to add this with this 1023, when we are converting into a binary number, we will get 3 dot 255. Okay. So, now this is that broadcast address for this corresponding network address. Okay. So, this 172.16.3.255. Now, we have to identify the usable host range. To identify the usable host range, you have to add one net network address and subtract one broadcast address. That is the usable host range. For example, this is the network address. To this, you have to add one. Okay. So, that is why it becomes 172.16.0.1. Okay, we are adding one to this network address and they subtract one from this broadcast address. So, you can see this here the total is 255. So, subtracting one, it will become 254. So, 172.16.3.254. Okay, similarly for HR, 
the required host subnet masking we know that so here we find the broadcast addresses 172.16.3.255 then in the hr we should start with 172.16.4.0 okay like similarly we are finding the broadcast address by adding with this 512 minus 1 okay so when we convert that 511 into a binary number it will become 5.255 so the host range has been identified similarly for finance and sales we should follow the same procedure so this is a subnetting plan for a it industry whenever they are provided with the required host for different departments okay i hope you understand the concept thank you for watching the video